How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Why empaths and narcissists attract each other and why this is a highly toxic relationship. Empaths and narcissists are drawn to each other. And this is because empaths have a lot of compassion and understanding to give. While narcissists thrive on someone worshipping them. Narcissists thrive on someone who gives them constant admiration, constant attention, constant reassurance, recognition, acknowledgement, constant validation. Empaths and narcissists being in a relationship is not a good match because empaths tend to forgive everything the narcissist does. But we know narcissists hardly forgive. Specifically, the covert narcissists, they will be quiet, smile with you, but they are plotting revenge inside their hearts. Now, this relationship between empaths and covert narcissists results in them being completely used. The empaths will be used and discarded and degraded and devalued in this relationship, while the narcissists will always create more and more and more chaos, drama, confusion, conflicts. Because the narcissist's main mission is to use and discard. They use people for their own benefits. Narcissists also thrive in chaos, in drama, in conflict. So this relationship will be so stressful for the empath. Again, another reason why empaths and narcissists attract each other is because Opposites attract. That's what we all know. This rule is also applying to this empath-narcissistic relationship. Narcissists and empaths are drawn together for the, long, for, the, for the wrong reasons. Narcissists are attracted to people that they will get the most narcissistic supply from. People that they can use the most for their own selfish needs. And that's why they target the empaths. And empaths are the total opposite of narcissists. Narcissists lack empathy and they thrive on the need for constant admiration, constant attention, validation, recognition, praise. But empaths are very sensitive people and they're in tune with other people's emotions. They're emotional sponges. They can absorb feelings from other people very easily. And this, and this makes these empaths to be very attractive to narcissists. A narcissist, when they see an empath, they see someone who will fulfill their every need in a selfless way. Now, this relationship between empaths and narcissists will end in tears will end in disaster. A narcissist is someone who loves taking, 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 taking. They take, 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 take. So when they see an empath, they see someone who is giving. A narcissist is someone who is loving. Someone who is going to try and be devoted to them. Someone who is going to love them and listen to them. And when an empath sees a narcissist, because of the charming nature of narcissists, because of the love-bombing nature of narcissists, at first, the empath, they see a false self. They see a false person. Because narcissists will present a false self. They appear charming, very intelligent, charismatic, giving. They even appear to be empaths in a way. But the moment you don't do things their way, then they withhold and punish you. When a narcissist is trying to hook someone in, they'll be loving and attentive. But their mask drops with time once they've hooked that person. During the love bombing stage, they'll be so nice to that person, to the empath. 
and you'll only see the good qualities in the narcissist. You'll think the relationship will last to be the best relationship. But this relationship cannot go anywhere because narcissists are full of content. They see people as below them. They belittle others to uplift themselves. Once a narcissist sees mistakes, flaws, inadequacies in their partner, they no longer idealize them. They start to blame them for not being perfect. So, a relationship with a narcissist and an empath will often end in disaster. The empath, they think they can fix people. They think they can heal anything with compassion, with love, with understanding. But this does not apply to narcissists. The more they give to the narcissist, the more the narcissist takes. Until the narcissist realizes they've taken everything, then they dump the empath and disappear. Nas empaths cannot believe that there is someone who exists who doesn't have empathy. They can't believe that they cannot fix this person with their love. Empaths think they can fix a narcissist with love, with empath. Narcissists, they love conflict, they love drama, they love, love chaos. They, empaths, on the other hand, they love peace, they love harmony. So, you see, these are two opposite people. Narcissists enjoy chaos, drama, and conflicts. And they are happy when they know they can provoke people and make people angry. That way they can control things. Narcissists will be happy manipulating empaths by doing intermittent things. Hope, intermittent attention, intermittent um, even the fake love. They will integrate some compliments, some kindness into their behavior and make the empath feel and believe that if they behave better, then they will get the loving narcissist back. The person who loved bombed them at first. They think that person can come back. Empaths, they understand we are human beings. They understand people have mistakes. Nobody is perfect. They are, they are willing to be patient with someone. But a narcissist, they have no time for that. They get bored easily. And the narcissist will take advantage of the empath because of that nature, that forgiving nature. Again, the empath develops trauma bonds. They get trauma bonded with the narcissist because of that push and pull nature of that narcissistic relationship. It naturally generates a trauma bond between the empath and the narcissist. So the empath feels impossible to leave that narcissistic relationship. Yes, they are damaged. The relationship is very painful. It's bad, but they can't leave. They are in a fix. Now, with this empath narcissist relationship, it is the most toxic relationship that one can find themselves in. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. That way, every time I upload a new video, you get notified about it. Thank you.